Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with my master bathroom. We are getting it ready for baby boy and it also just needed a deep clean. So if you have a master bathroom that is just as gross as mine, I hope this video gives you lots of inspiration and let's get started. So as you can see, this was a space that was definitely neglected. I'm sharing with you the before uh, images or videos of all of my stuff that is in my vanity. That is what we're working on first. And it is so gross, guys. As you can see, there's a lot that needs to be done. And this is something I worked on all day, on and off, not completely straight. I did one thing at a time, so if that's what you have to do, um, then do it. The only really thing I'm going to be doing differently is just rearranging everything so I can make sure I have room for baby boy's things for now and for the future because he's going to be a part of our household and a new member to our family and so he's going to need space of his own. The only thing I'm adding are baby towels, some new bath toys for him, as well as a few baby products. So one of the first things I'm doing is just emptying out the space that I want to clean first. I'm using this reusable grocery bag. That way if something gets in it, it spills, it's not going to leak and it's easily wipeable. And I'm going to move this into our master bedroom. That way everything's out of the way and I can really go through it afterwards once I wipe everything down and decide what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, and what just doesn't need to be in here and can be put somewhere else. And then once the bag was full, I just grabbed a towel that I had handy and um, just put some things on that. And then I'm going to um, move everything into the bedroom as well. But I just didn't want anything on my um, dresser in my room, in my master bedroom. So I wanted to use a towel to kind of protect it. And I honestly can't even tell you when the last time this bathroom had this good of a clean and organization. I knew it had been a while, but I think that's one beautiful thing about pregnancy is it just makes you want to declutter and clean, especially um, before you add another member to your family and life just gets a little bit busier. And Elizabeth is just playing with her doll and her makeup. Um, just kind of keeping her busy and occupied so I can get this done. Um, sometimes that happens when it comes to solo parenting. Um, you have projects you want to do, but you also have a toddler to watch for. So she had a lot of fun giving her doll a makeover, and I had a lot of fun cleaning and tackling a project. And here is her doll's finished look. As you can see, she had a lot of fun giving it lots of lipstick. And we gave this bathroom a complete makeover probably about almost three years ago. Um, no, two years ago, right before I went back to work. So that's probably the last time we gave this bathroom a good clean. There is just something so refreshing about getting rid of old makeup and starting fresh. Um, so what I decided to do for Christmas is get myself travel size. Things that I'm not going to need full sizes of because we're in a pandemic and I don't wear a ton of makeup all the time. But I did want a few products um, that I thought I would show you that I wanted. This was just something I've always wanted to try. I've always wanted to try Jo Malone's perfume. And I got the little sample pack in my stocking. And then you're just going to see a lot of travel size. So I was able to fit all my makeup in here i've really downsized and i'm super happy about it that i can fit all my essentials and this way it's away from elizabeth and i don't have to worry about her using my nice makeup
and I'm also going through Elizabeth's makeup. She got some new makeup for Christmas. I know she's two, but the girl loves her makeup. What can I say? And she has so much fun with it. So I'm just getting rid of old expired stuff. I let her use my stuff that was like basically going to be expiring soon and I wasn't wearing it. Um, so I'm only keeping the stuff like eyeshadow, blush. I got rid of the mascara because that was a hot mess. And just keeping basically the makeup that's easily, like you can get off easily and it doesn't make too big a mess on your face. And now let's wash some makeup brushes because that is always something that you should do when cleaning your bathroom. And so she had a lot of fun um, helping me clean the makeup brushes and just, yeah, start fresh. So um, she has her own makeup brushes. I've given her like old ones that I don't really care about. They're brushes that I don't really use. And all my nice ones, like my Sigma ones, are staying with me. So we're just washing them all, getting them all clean and fresh and uh, yeah she had a lot of fun doing this and here's the before um, once we took out all of the makeup as you can see this drawer has been well loved and it needs to be cleaned really well so i ended up filming this part on a different day so it's not as perfect but you get the gist i put all of our extra like beauty products and stuff in here in the middle bin we still have our game boards up above and um it's still stuff we're going to use like i don't want to put it downstairs and then i have all of our clean parts in one drawer and our cloths and the cleaning ranks in another Everybody has their own drawer that they can keep some personal items in. And that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed this cleaning with me, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye, guys.